Jerry at Fair Oaks. Away, McLeod. Oh, yeah, I see him. I see him. I've got good eyes. Well, don't bite back at me like that. I'm just trying to help you. If you want me to close up like a clam, I will. Happens to Betsy and think no, of No, keep quiet. You're babbling on like an old woman. Oh, oh. I think. Are you lads all right back there? Yeah, yeah we're all right. Just don't lose sight of that car because we can't see it from here. And we're sitting on the floor of the truck. All right, we've still got him in view. There, Horosh. Oh, what's up? A big car got between me and him. Well, that's all right. You don't want to let him see us anyhow. It's easy to see, McLeod, that you don't know much about the tactics of reconnoitre. No, and if it's anything to do with war, I, I, I don't want to know anything about it. Well, even in peace times, it comes in handy once in a while. Just like now, it's a good thing that car did come between us. That rascal up there where Jason happened to see us, it'll throw him off the scent. I didn't see the connection. Oh, plain as the nose on your face, man. Plain as the nose. Oh, go on, go on, go on with your story. Well, don't you see? If we don't make any attempt to pass that big car up ahead, he won't get the idea that we're a fallen. Oh, I, yeah, you're right there, Corporal. I must admit it. Uh, uh, kid. What? Uh, the big car turned off to the right. Now I can see the man's automobile again, very clearly. Aye, very clearly. He just turned on his lights. Aye, he did. Hey, look. Now he's making a turn to the right. Aye, aye. That's the street that uh, leads onto the highway, the main highway to Wardville. Oh, so that's uh, where he's going, eh? Oh, what, to Wardville? Well, how can we tell so soon? Well, it's a logical thing to suppose. Wardville's a large city, much larger than Fair Oaks. And it'd be reasonable to suppose they'd take Harold Linwell where they'd be easier lost than here. Oh, I... Hey, are we turning? Hey, Jerry, the man in the other automobile turned ahead of us. He's turning up Elm Street. Oh, I see Want me to drive for a while, Mac? No, no, I'm doing all right so far. Oh, sure, I just meant that maybe you were tired. No, not yet, I'm not. <laughs> I didn't think a youngster like you could drive a car, Lee. Oh, sure, Corporal Dent. I've driven cars since I was 12 years old. Oh, what they don't allow young striplings to do nowadays wouldn't fill a postage stamp. Now, in our days, McLeod... No, no, I can. In our days, the, the baronies were tied to their mother's apron strings and then dumped out onto the world without training to take care of themselves. No, I'm in favor of the new way. I'm in favor of progress. Oh, what's the use of trying to argue with you? <laughs> Say, doggone it, you turned out the lights. Do you want us to run into something? Uh, I turned out the lights, and, and for a very good reason, too. Oh, what is it, I'd like to know? Uh, it's because at this time of the next, if that man in that automobile ahead saw a small hardware delivery truck coming out upon the highway, he'd think something was muckle queer. Oh, I get it. That's a swell idea, Matt. Gee, I think it is, too. Well, I don't know now. I remember one... Oh, thing. man, man, this is not the time, not the place to be spilling any of your, your recollections. We've got a job in our hands, and a mighty big one, and a, and a hard one. Oh, all right. Say, you better come to a halt, McLeod. That fellow's driving into that gasoline service station. Oh, yeah, I, I will, I will. Hey, what's the matter? Uh, the man's driving into the service station, Jerry. We man wait until he goes on. Oh, is he getting gas or oil? Jerry, for the love of Mike, what else would he be going into a service station for? Well, gee, he might be going to use the phone. And that's exactly what he's doing, Jerry. He's telephoning to somebody. Well, how can you tell this far away? My eyesight's a heap better than yours, McLeod. I can see him just as plain as day. Well, uh, is the station man inside with him? Yes, he is, Jerry. 
Yeah, he's sitting right there in his chair reading something. Well, then that's swell. What do you mean, lad, swell? Well, don't you see, Corporal Dent? We can stop there and ask the station man where that fellow was phoning to. Well, I don't think we better do that. Well, why not? Well, because we might lose sight of the other car if we stop to talk. Oh, yeah, but... No, well, I think Corporal Dent's right, Jerry. Well, all right. Say, McCloud, if you thought to notice how far we've gone, oh. that'll be mighty important factor in tracing these fellas when we tell the government men about this thing. Oh, Lord, sir, I did not think of it at, uh, up to this time, but we can watch from now on. Would you mind, Corporal? No, uh, no, 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 no. I'll keep the log from now on. Keep the log? Oh, what log? Oh, Jerry, you know what he means. Like on a ship. Oh, oh, you mean a record of how far we've gone as we pass, well, landmarks, huh? Right, mm-hmm. Jar, my boy. Now, let me see. 24,792 miles on this uh, thingamabob. I'd estimate we've traveled almost... Oh, oh, uh, there it goes again. Huh? Oh, about a mile. This is, now, let me see. Yeah, Garrison Service Station. All right, now I'm all set. Now, why don't you drive in back of that service station, McLeod? And then get out of the other side instead of turning that corner with the lights of the station full on it. Oh, I did that, Corporal. I'll, I'll do just that. Golly, I sure hope we can find out where that man's going. I'll bet then we'll be right there where Harold is. Corporal Dent, uh, Mac, you're not thinking of going into a house where those men are, are you? Not a bit of it, Lee, nope. All we want to do is to find out where that rapscallion's are going. And then go back and tell the government men about it. Oh, yes, I see. But suppose they might get away in the meantime. Well, I've thought of that too, Lee. Now, while you and Jerry drive back with McLeod here in this truck, I'll ambush myself and keep watch. Yes, but you haven't got a gun or anything to protect yourself with, in case they happen to see you, have no, you? No, sir, nary a weeping. But Benjamin Franklin then don't need nothing like that to guard himself. No, sir, e Bob. Give me a good screen of shrubbery and nobody in the world could ferret me out. Hmm. Hey, rain in there, McLeod. Rain in. Well, uh, what's the trouble, oh, the new? you see, man? Why, he's turning right into that side road. Oh, I, I do see him, the new. We'll wait here just a half a moment and then drive on and follow him up there. That's the tactics, McLeod. He'll have to slow down on that dirt road, which it must be because there ain't no signs. Are we stopping again? No, lad. No, the other car's turned into a side road. We're waiting a minute or two to let him get ahead of it. Oh, I see. Well, gee, well, let's don't lose him. Oh, we won't, Jerry. We won't. Don't worry. Not with the eagle eye of Benjamin Franklin Dent on him. All right, McLeod. Now we can go on. I, I... Yeah. Let's see now. To this turn, it's two, four, seven, nine, four. Yep. That's what I'd have reckoned it. Two miles from the gasoline station. Say, it's getting awfully bumpy. Are we on the dirt road now? Yep, that's where we are, lad. Say, you better take it a little easier, McLeod. I, I will. Huh. Uh, look. Yep, yep, yep. I see him. Well, what's the matter? What happened? Well, the fellow's just uh, turned off the road yet. Is there another road up there uh, where he turned? I don't know, lad. Can't quite see yet. Say, you better come to a halt now, McLeod. We don't know what that critter's up to. I, you're right, Corporal. Yeah. All right, lads, get out. Now, wait, I'll open the back and you can get out that way. Now, don't make too much noise. Oh, Lord. What's up, McLeod? Come here, quickly. Keep your voice covered, man. We don't know what's lying in ambush around look, this look. sector. He's turned on a flashlight. A flashlight? Yes, sir, I can see it. Oh, yeah. All right, now. We'll keep close to this line of the bushes along the side of the road and advance slow-like onto the enemy. Now, no talking in ranks. All right, now, come on. All right, Hey, he's walking up through the clump of trees. Yeah, we can tell by his flashes. Better not talk for a while, lads. Yeah. Say, there's a house. Some kind of a building up there in them trees. Uh, You're absolutely right, Corporal. Oh, it looks, looks like a shed. I know what that is. It's an old outbuilding on the Hazlitt Farm. Hazlitt Farm? Yes, sir, Rebob, that's what it is. This is the road that runs along the north side of Aaron Hazlitt's farm. I recollect now I've seen that from the back stoop of the farmhouse. Well, then, that must be where they're keeping Harold. No doubt of it, Lee, no doubt of it. Well, now, to get back to Fair Oaks and tell them government men about this. I, I, come on. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Hey, what's up? What's up, Jerry? What's well, up? well, listen, what's to prevent those men from leaving here while we're driving back to Fair Oaks? Say, that's right. Uh, you're absolutely correct, Jerry. Hey, I've got an idea. Yeah, what, Lee? Well, I'll crawl up to that car and take the distributor head off. Oh, no, 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 Lee. You might not do that. It's too dangerous. Danger be hanged. The lad's right, McLeod. It's the only way to be sure the rascals can't leave without walking. 
And you can mark my words, that bunch won't risk walking down a lonely road this time of night with a young lad wearing a Pharaoh's uniform. Well, no, I, I didn't think it. Oh, quit your sniveling, McLeod. You're worse than an old she-bear with a newborn cub. Hey, Lee. Yes, sir. We'll remove in that, uh, that, uh, what you call it? Uh, uh, distributor uh, head. Yeah, yeah. Will that keep the engine from running? Oh, you bet it will. It won't run at all. Well, then, go to it, then. Go to it. I'll go with you, Lee. Okay, come on. Oh, gosh, I'm a wee bit afraid. Oh, it's all right, Mac. We'll be careful. Come on, Lee. Well, good luck, Max. We'll be standing guard. Careful of that vine there, Jerry. Okay, got it. Now, here's a little gully here. We'll have to be careful. Well, it's awfully dark down there. Come on, I, I got hold of your coat. Okay, here goes. Now, up the other side. Oh, swell, we made it. Well, there's the car just ahead of us. Yeah. Now, Jerry, you stay here right behind this bush, and I'll sneak up behind the car and along the side. Well, why don't I go with you? Because they're more liable to see two of us than just me alone. Well, okay. All right, here I go. Get it? You bet I got it. Come on. Careful. Here's the little gully again. Yeah. There's Corporal Dent and Mac. Right over there. Yeah, I see them. Did you get away with it, Lee? You bet. Ah, good work, lads. Good work. Oh, Rosh, laddies. I'm glad you're back safe and hearty. Now, McLeod, you take the two boys. Drive back as fast as you can to Fair Oaks. Get that government man to bring all his forces here as quick as possible. I'll stand watch here till you get back. Gee, Corporal Dent, are, aren't you afraid they might see you? Oh, what if they do? Don't make no difference. If I'm here when you get back, you'll know that they didn't see me. If I ain't here, well, I'll be on the inside of that there cabin. Now go on, get. There ain't one minute to lose. All right, lads, come on. 